In this question, a solid sphere of mass m and radius r having initial angular velocity omega naught, which is 5 v naught by 4 r, and initial vertical velocity, which is v naught, collides with a plank of mass capital M, which is having mass equal to 4 times of this mass of the sphere, with a coefficient of restitution a is equal to 0 0.5, and the plank is placed on a smooth horizontal surface. The coefficient of friction between the sphere and the plank is mu, which is 0 0.5 and we have to choose the correct options and the options are uh, for angular velocity just after the collision and the velocity of the plank just after the collision and the impulse uh, due to friction between these two uh, during the collision so we have to find these three things and uh, uh, let's proceed so i have drawn three diagrams here this is the diagram for just before the collision uh, it is uh, rotating like this and uh, this is the angular, uh, this is the linear velocity v0 vertical direction and uh, this is the diagram during the collision. So during the collision uh, some impulses act on this sphere and on this plank and impulse is due to normal reaction, normal impulse and uh, the same impulse uh, will be here also. This is represented using Jn and uh, impulse due to friction. So impulse due to friction because uh, there is a slipping here this point is moving in this direction with some velocity omega naught into r okay so only due to this rotational velocity there is a velocity of this point and due to this v naught there is a velocity this but uh, this velocity is not contributing towards slipping this is normal to the contact surface so this point is moving vertically with v naught and horizontally uh, along the contact surface parallel to the contact surface omega naught into r so due to this velocity this sphere tends to slip on the surface and there will be a friction opposite to this uh, slipping so opposite to this slipping friction on the sphere is like this and uh, on this plank friction will be opposite action reaction and j is uh, the impulse so impulse due to friction and this is the impulse due to friction so these are the impulses during the collision and due to these impulses some momentum change we can see in individual bodies so after the collision uh, vertical velocity of uh, this sphere let's say this is v i am assuming this to be v and due to this kind of impulse this horizontal impulse uh, it will gain some horizontal velocity also and uh, this velocity i am uh, assuming to be v1 and uh, uh, also this is undergoing the horizontal impulse due to friction so it will gain some velocity so i am assuming velocity of the plank to be v2 and uh, due to this uh, friction there will be some angular impulse on this sphere and that angular impulse will change the angular velocity okay so i am assuming the angular velocity to be omega uh, just after the collision so these are the three stages just before just uh, during the collision and just after so let's proceed with some calculations okay so first uh, i'm uh, doing the calculations related to the coefficient of restitution so coefficient of restitution e is defined as velocity of uh, uh, separation divided by velocity of approach okay so velocity of separation divided by velocity of approach and uh, separation uh, these velocities uh, these velocities we see at the point of impact so at the point of impact obviously this is not moving and uh, this cannot move uh, perpendicular to the contact surface along the normal direction so i am assuming there is no rebounding here okay of the plank so velocity of separation so uh, in this final diagram uh, the velocity of this point okay so velocity of this point in terms of assumed parameters so v1 due to v and due to omega okay so these are the component of velocities and uh, only this v is uh, along the normal direction so this is the velocity of separation and velocity of approach uh, from here i can see this is v naught okay and e is given as half so this velocity this velocity is v naught by 2 so we have found the velocity in the vertical direction for this sphere now i am calculating what is the impulse imparted by the normal reaction okay so this impulse so impulse is change in momentum so i am applying uh, impulse momentum equation to this sphere uh, along the vertical direction so along the vertical direction uh, this is the initial momentum mv0 downward direction this is the final momentum mv0 by 2 so this v is v0 by 2 and uh, this is the impulse due to normal okay so impulse is only due to normal reaction uh, there is mg and other forces also and uh, 
uh, those forces are non impulsive so uh, during the collision uh, there is no effect due to those forces so impulse is due to normal only so this is normal impulse and final momentum is the upward direction and i am assuming upper to be positive so this will be mv naught by 2 initial momentum is minus mv naught so due to the normal reaction this is the uh, momentum 3 by 2 mv naught okay so now let's uh, go for the calculation of this uh, v1 okay so we have to find this v1 v2 and omega and for that we need to uh, see this impulse of the friction so let's see the impulse of the friction on the next page so again the similar diagram is there and uh, i have written here about friction so what friction do friction uh, what friction does friction is basically opposing the relative motion so initially this uh, point of the sphere is moving in this direction with velocity omega naught into r and the friction tends to oppose this uh, slipping because this point is not moving okay and this point is moving in the backward direction so that's why the friction is coming so this friction is obviously kinetic because this is due to the actual slipping here there is a slipping definitely there is a slipping this is moving and this is not moving so friction will definitely be kinetic but uh, it may happen that uh, what i have written is uh, friction will be kinetic if uh, during the whole process collision uh, slipping does not stop so during this whole process i can assume that it will be kinetic friction when slipping does not stop and if slipping stops in between so it can also happen that uh, during the process of collision the slipping here stops okay so if slipping here stops then uh, friction will be changed to static okay so then the friction will be changed to a static but a static friction will act if there is a tendency of slipping and tendency is created by forces and here are the impulses so there is no other horizontal impulse which can create the tendency of slipping in the horizontal direction okay so the static friction will also will not be there here so there will be no friction here if a static friction is not acting then otherwise there will be no friction will be acting here okay so if slipping stops in between so i don't know which case is here okay so friction is uh, kinetic friction is acting throughout the whole process or friction is acting uh, friction is acting for some interval of time and then friction stops because uh, slipping stops here so these two cases can be there okay so friction kinetic friction acting for the whole process or slipping stops in between and then friction becomes zero okay friction becomes zero there is because there is no tendency of slipping because there is no other horizontal impulses here okay so let's first calculate what can be the maximum what can be the maximum impulse imparted by this friction and maximum impulse imparted by the friction will be when the friction will be kinetic during the whole process during the whole process there is slipping okay so what can be the maximum maximum impulse imparted by the friction so this is basically jf maximum so jf maximum is mu times uh, impulse imparted by the normal reaction okay so mu is here half and uh, jn i have calculated 3 by 2 mv naught so this is 3 by 4 mv naught so remember this is the maximum possible impulse imparted by the friction in case slipping does not stop after the collision okay but if slipping stops after the uh, during the collision in between then friction will turn to static in case there is tendency and friction will become zero if there is no tendency okay so let's see what uh, is happening here okay so i've calculated the maximum impulse imparted by the friction maximum impulse that can be imparted so let's move forward so now i'm doing some other calculations uh, so uh, we have to calculate impulse imparted by friction by some other means okay so uh, i'm applying impulse momentum equation along the horizontal direction okay so impulse momentum equation along the horizontal direction first on a sphere and then on plank i will uh, write the equation so on this sphere so on this sphere uh, the horizontal impulse is due to friction and this friction is uh, changing the momentum to mv1 okay so initially there is no horizontal momentum and on plank if i write so this is the same impulse okay same friction is acting on this plank and mass is 4m so 4mv2 okay so impulse on the plank is 4mv2 
if I equate this to so m v1 is equal to 4 m v2 and uh, you can see one relation for v1 is equal to 4 v2 here okay so v1 is now 4 v2 and we can also conserve the linear momentum along the horizontal direction okay so I am writing the impulse due to friction because in one option we need the impulse due to friction okay so that's why I have written the impulse due to friction otherwise uh, this is another choice okay we can write the conservation of linear momentum along the horizontal direction on this sphere plus block system why we can write because there is no horizontal impulse if I take this combined system because only impulse is due to friction and friction will be internal if I take this uh, complete system okay so I can apply conservation of linear momentum so initial momentum was zero and finally momentum I can write for a sphere and for this plank so the same equation I am getting m v1 is equal to 4 m v2 and the similar equation uh, is through mo impulse momentum equation also so uh, both are giving the same result here okay so now uh, I am assuming that suppose uh, this sphere started pure rolling the sphere started pure rolling when it got separated from here okay so during the collision uh, uh, there is a moment when uh, this uh, and this slipping stops okay so what is the velocity of the this point this point has velocity uh, you can write this velocity is omega r in this direction and v1 in this direction i am writing the velocity along the contact surface and uh, this point this point of plank is moving with v2 here okay so i have written for no slipping this velocity v2 should be equal to the velocity of the this point uh, in the left direction so this is omega r minus v1 so this relation must satisfy if uh, there is no slipping after the collision okay so let's see what is happening so for that i am applying conservation of angular momentum about the point of impact okay so one equation i can get from angular momentum conservation and how i can apply in, uh, why i can apply conservation of angular momentum because uh, uh, if i take this point so all the impulses are passing through this point so there is no angular impulse about this point okay so let's write the angular momentum of this sphere so l initial is equal to l final so l initial and i am writing about uh, this point okay so in combined motion when we write uh, angular momentum so angular momentum has two components uh, angular momentum of center of mass that is due to translatory motion angular momentum with respect to center of mass due to that is due to the spin or rotation okay so l will have the two components so we have to keep in mind and l with respect to cm is simply i cm into omega so i am writing about this point but that doesn't matter l with respect to cm will be i cm into omega so many students commit this mistake that they take i about this point okay so i will not be about this point i will be about center of mass okay so let's write the equation so initially initially you can see this velocity this velocity is passing through this point so there is no contribution from the translatory motion in angular momentum okay so velocity is passing through this point so only contribution is due to the rotational motion so icm which is 2 by 5 mr square and initial omega given is 5 v naught by 4 r so this is already given omega naught is 5 v naught by 4 r and what is l final so l final i can write 2 by 5 mr square and uh, the angular velocity final okay and uh, the final velocity we have two components here v1 and this vertical component will pass through this point so there is no contribution due to this vertical component only the contribution uh, due to this v1 and this is the clockwise contribution okay so v1 will be also clockwise so it is m v1 into r so some terms will be cancelled m and r will be cancelled and from here uh, i can find the relation between v1 and v2 also okay so from this equation v1 is equal to 4 v2 and use this equation into this one okay so v1 can be written as 4 v2 so v2 omega r minus 4 v2 and v2 from here is omega r by 5 okay and v1 is 4 times so 4 omega r by 5 so i can write omega to be equal to 5 v1 by 4 r okay so omega uh, put 5 v1 by 4 r so let's write again so i am writing completely 2 by 5 mr square 5 v naught by 4 r and this is 2 by 5 mr square omega is 5 v1 by 4 r and this is in terms of v1 already so from here very easy equation it will be and you will find that v1 is v naught by 3 
so v1 we have calculated and from here you can find the value of v2 also v2 is uh, v2 is basically v1 by 4 and v1 by 4 it will be v1 by 12 okay so uh, these values needs to be verified now okay so these values needs to be verified so what is the impulse uh, due to friction okay impulse due to friction is m v1 and what is the value of v1 v1 value is m v0 by 3 and this impulse let's compare this impulse with the maximum impulse provided by the friction so maximum impulse uh, as i have calculated on the previous page due to friction can be 3 by 4 this is 0 0.75 0 0.75 of m v0 and what impulse due to friction we are getting from our calculation here okay so from calculation we are getting this much impulse m v0 by 3 this is one third 0 0.33 so obviously this is less than less than the calculated value the maximum calculated value 3 by 4 mv naught so that means uh, actually uh, the slipping is uh, slipping is stops here um, in between collision okay so in between collision slipping stops and uh, after slipping stops there is no friction acting okay so that's why this impulse is coming out to be less than this uh, maximum possible impulse so this is mv naught by 3 so impulse due to friction answer is mv naught by 3 okay we need to find the velocity of the plank so okay so our answer is verified and this value is v0 by 12 and uh, we have to find the angular velocity also so angular velocity is uh, 5 v1 by 4 r and if you put the value of v1 v1 is v0 by 3 so it will be 5 v0 by 12 r so these are the respective answers and let's see which options uh, are going to be correct okay so let's see the options here so angular velocity of this phase just after the collision is 5 v0 by 12 bar okay so this is going to be the correct b is obviously false and velocity of the plank just after the collision is v0 by 12 okay it is correct and impulse due to friction on this phase during collision is mv0 by 3 okay so this is also correct so a c d are the correct options